everyone, it's Living the Good Life with another garage sale and estate sale finds video. I had wonderful luck this week and I want to go ahead and share my finds with you. I went to four estate sales and probably 12 garage sales and uh, you know some of them I walked away with nothing but I did find some wonderful things. China, Crystal, and Sterling, and I want to show you. Uh, here's the first item at a garage sale, one of my first of the day. Walked up, met a lovely older gentleman. He had lost his wife, sadly, and he was selling off some things. And on a shelf mark, $5 each, I found this Pyrex Autumn Harvest. And um, it was a little more than I wanted to pay because this isn't my favorite pattern. But I was able to get it for $3. Um, this is also the same garage sale that I got the... Um, fiber fill and the pillow forms in my yarn and craft video that I just put out yesterday. So that was three dollars. Went to another sale and I found this Pyrex lid. I do have an item that does not have a lid and so I was able to get this for 25 cents. It does have a little chip on one of these edges uh, right there. And so, but I thought, you know, for, for a quarter, I'd rather have a lid with a little chip than no lid at all. So that was a good one. I also went to a garage sale, my very last of the day. And this is kind of um, something to teach us that don't think that just because it's 11 or 12 o'clock that there isn't something good still out there. Because I dug through a box of um, jewelry and it was just keychains and kids you know plastic beads and at the bottom there are a few metallic items and I kind of you know quietly check them with my magnet and I could see on this one that it did say 925 on it it is sterling it weighs three grams that was a dollar uh, there was this item it is marked EC and then 925 and it was a dollar as well so that turned out really well um, then I want to give you an update from the thrift clearance dear store video um, the other day. I was confused about whether or not this was actually sterling or not. It felt like it, uh, but I wasn't sure. And then, uh, don't know if I'm going to get this pronunciation right, but F is girl, E-F-E-S girl, uh, out of the Netherlands, mentioned to me that she had seen... I'm going to be able to put a point my finger on here. This little tag, which is usually the indicator of uh, a marking, and it does say 925. So thank you so very much for pointing that out to me. I think I got overwhelmed by all the little beads and everything. And this weighs um, quite a lot. And for some reason, I keep forgetting how much it weighs. But we'll go ahead and weigh it real quick right now. Come over here. Put it on there. It is so hard to film one-handed and still hit the scale. Um, 15.67 grams. So that was in two bags um, that were a uh, dollar each. So I got a few silver items there. So that's just an update from yesterday. While we were here, here are my nice sterling cups. They are baby cups. And uh, here's the first one. It is 64 grams of silver. It has this cup, let me get over here, and it's got all these engravings on the side. There's a little squirrel, the kid in the pony cart with the dog, another dog, another, uh, and then it's engraved baby right there. So it's very cute. It has markings. I'm going to set it down so you can see. Mark Sterling. Uh, I don't think you're really going to be able to see this mark very well, but it says, um, RB and it is for R Blackington. Um, it is a company that was in business from 1862 to 1967 when it was sold to Wells Incorporated. It is out of Attlebury, Massachusetts. This mark, which is kind of an R and then a B and a little lozenge, um, was used from 1862 to 1900. So this was, um, it, it, this estate sale was um, run by the family, so this was the woman's husband's grandfather's baby cup. So it kind of, the woman was my age or actually a little older, so um, that puts it in good perspective. This one was marked $20, and I kept filling it in my hand trying to remember 
how much I thought this weighed, but it weighs 64 grams. So I got it for $15. Uh, so that really makes uh, a lot of sense. This was the other baby cup, and it does have an engraving baby very faintly right there. All it says is Sterling on the bottom. I never can see if I've got it. Yeah, I had it right the first time. It says Sterling on the bottom. And there are a few little bumps and bruises. And I think there's even a little tear right there in the Sterling. This one is a little over 58 grams. And it was, uh, I paid 15 as well. So 30 for the pair. And they weigh 123 uh, grams. So... This uh, was worth $60, so it was double what I paid for it. And, and all in all, with all the silver I got this week, I, I paid, um, what I paid, $32, dollars $34 in, for the items. And it is worth um, about $75 in uh, actual silver weight. So that was a really good week on the sterling front. I then went to a couple of other, we'll see, two other estate sales that I got something out. Let's go ahead and look at this item. Um, this is called a beaded panel. This was originally a Northwood um, glass company um, mold, but if it's actually Northwood, based on my research, these would be open. This would be open through here. When it is closed and it's all glass through here, it is a remake. So when Northwood was in operation until 1925, they then sold the company to Westmoreland. And Westmoreland used the same molds. They reissued some of these items in, 1940s, in the 1940s and 1950s. And they never made a yellow. I think it was green pink, well, green and blue for sure, but two other colors. I'm having having a difficulty to remember, but this is a candlestick. Candle was free, <laughs> and it was $10. So I guess for something that's 70, you know, 60 to 75 years old, that was still pretty good. Yellow's not my favorite color, but I took a chance on this, and I thought it was still thought it was pretty. I also went to an estate sale and. I got down there about 20 minutes beforehand and I thought, oh, I'm going to be back a little ways in the line. And I was number two. And I asked the man, what's the deal? <laughs> he said, there are a ton of estate sales this week. So, you know, everybody's kind of split up. So by the time that they opened at nine o'clock, um, there were only about six people in line. And I, of course, darted off toward the China, always thinking in my mind, I'm going to have competition. But no, nobody else really is interested in antique China anymore. So... I really have it all to my own, so I just look at the price and decide if I'm going to get it or not. So I did find one of my, some of my favorites, RS Prussia, which if you don't know, was made about 1895 to 1920, and then it transitioned to RS Germany uh, with some simpler styles. This is not my favorite, but uh, for $10. I decided to go ahead and get it. Um, it has the molded flowers painted uh, pink and yellow, the rose decor, and these little blue domes with, these are called shadow flowers. So, and it is marked on the back. That was $10. I also got this uh, beautiful crystal tray, and I'm gonna show it uh, up close here on the detail. Isn't this pretty with this, this um, I don't know if you call it etching or, or whatever this is here. And it's got these almost, almost like a fleur-de-lis kind of detail here. And then the handles. I normally wouldn't even get this type of thing because it's usually priced a little bit more than I want to pay for something. But it was only $4. So it's a beautiful cake plate. And it's about, um, it's, it's larger than you think. I'd say including the handles about a foot across, otherwise about eight to nine inches, and it's lovely. So I was happy to get that. I also got this RS Prussia cake plate, and we know that because it has the handles with this beautiful roses. And this again is about 19, I forgot to mention the other bowl was probably about 1905 to 1910. Um, since this is a little simpler, 
I would guess that this is more about 1915 um, in date, and this was $12. I also got this beautiful green opalescent bowl, and it was $15. I don't know as much about glass, and that's probably why I ended up buying a reproduction. Uh, I looked through my opalescent glass book. I looked online. I couldn't find anything. It's got this, I'm going to call it starburst because I don't know what else to call it, cutting. On the bottom, it is footed, these little feet. This is the close-up on what it looks like on the design. Here's the opalescent ruffle around the edge. If anyone knows anything about opalescent glass, please chime in. And if I got anything wrong on that yellow candlestick, please correct me. Uh, but here's what it looks like. I could not find anything in the book about it. But I think it looks beautiful. So I went ahead and got it, and green's a favorite color. I also got um, this lovely RS Prussia cup and saucer. And look at the detail on the roses inside. It was $8. And this is the little detail around the edge. I'm trying to see, and it's just got a little sprig. Here's the mark, and this is the mark that's on the back of all the others. Here's the saucer, and you can probably get a better, nope, the saucer's not marked, so you kind of have to know. Um, lovely little handle, $8 for that. And then I'm saving my favorite for last, and that is this sugar and creamer. This is a, I'm going to show you why, up here. This is an iris mold. I don't know if you can see the, the iris. Iris mold, satin finish, shiny. Iris mold, satin finish, sugar and creamer. And here's the little finial. It's got the satin on top. Pretty picture of these old roses. And the creamer is very similar. I think you see the iris really pretty there and these are marked and it was $30 so I got all of those items a uh, total of $85 at the estate sale and went to the car with a smile on my face <laughs> I was really trying to juggle all these things because I wanted to keep looking to see if there was anything else uh, I found uh, some silver candlesticks but they were just they were weighted they were too expensive to buy um, I would love to be able to go back on half price day. So I'm going to check the dates and see if there is something I can go back and uh, get the candlesticks on Sunday if they're still open. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any knowledge to share with me, uh, any comments, I would love to hear from you. And if you like this type of thing, I would truly love your subscription. So that's for me and wish me luck next week so I can bring another lovely video to you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.